Hi, I'm Tony Hebrard from CrossFit Strategy. We're going to talk about running in relation to foot strike today. I have done a previous video which I would recommend you look at first in relation to where your foot strikes because that's most important and I want you to start with that. So, in that video we talked about making sure your foot is striking behind your body or directly under, definitely not out in front. Directly under or slightly behind your body, not out in front. Now, let's look about how your foot strikes. So, it can be quite controversial. Um, some people say heel strikes really good. Some people say four foot strikes really good. Um, if you're running in something like this, like a flat shoot, you're definitely gonna be wanting to land four foot. Um, if you're using a conventional runner, for some reason, with a heel fills up, um, you can definitely get away with landing on your heel. But, what I wanna look at is if we're running how we're designed to run, like we weren't born with shoes, we should be able to run bare feet and we all did once upon a time um, when we were younger. If that foot is striking underneath you or slightly behind with a tiny knee bend, it's gonna feel very natural to land on your forefoot. Can you see that position? So if my leg, leg come through, I've come through and it's striking slightly behind me with a slight bend on my knee. I'm landing on my forefoot there, okay? To land on my heel, I'd have to really pull my toes up to make that heel strike first. It would be completely unnatural, it would feel awkward, it would be tiring. It would feel very natural as that foot comes through to just land on the ball of my foot. What's that gonna do? It's gonna use all my muscles and mechanically my body's gonna move how it was designed to move. I'm gonna be light on my feet and I'm not relying on this big pushy runner to help me in that movement. So the transfer through to other movements in terms of sport and life is gonna be a lot higher. And initially, if you've been heel striking and you move to this technique in running, yes, your calf muscles are gonna get tight. So start with small runs, maybe even 500 meters at a time at a moderate pace. Slowly build your distance and your intensity, and soon, you won't wanna run any other way. Happy running, over and out.